Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. I've been asked by a number of guys if I could uh, check the output power of the MCHF QRP radio as we have some prospective buyers out there, I guess, looking to pick up the radio. Um, so what I've done is I have the most current um, firmware in it. I haven't updated the bootloader yet uh, to the most current firmware, but I have the... Um, or uh, yeah, it's the newest firmware for the bootloader, but I do have the, the most recent firmware in for the radio itself as of yesterday. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through what I've done is I've adjusted the power settings in the radio to suit myself. I'm a CW operator and what I've done is I've adjusted the power levels on high for 10 watts maximum uh, for the legal single sideband QRP limit and I've also set my 5 watt setting for 5 watts. I haven't went through the half watt or the 2 watt setting yet uh, for all the bands, but I have set it up for 5 watts and 10 watts on all the bands uh, currently for the CW portion of the band. Uh, it does change as you go up and off frequencies on either side of the, I'm going to guess, the uh, bandpass filter. But for now, I'm running the test here uh, with on, on CW. I'll key up on high power for you guys to show you the output power on high power where I set it for 10 uh, some of the bands are 12 to 14 watts out but I have adjusted everything here for uh, 10 watts out on CW so um, you can watch the watt meter up here this is the UKIT's uh, DP1 watt meter currently I'm on 160 meters uh, or, or yeah 160 right now so here's a key up into the dummy load there's 10.4 watts 80 meters 9.4 watts I don't do 60 40 meters 10.3 30 meters 10 watts 20 meters 10.5 watts 17 meters 10.2 it struggles between 9 on the meter to 10.2 according to the digital meter the the u kits meter oops all right 17 meters 10.2 watts again 15 meters 10.5 watts and you can see a little bit of a difference on the meter uh, in the um, mchf versus the dp1 all right, 12 meters. We have 9.6 watts. It struggles to get to any more than uh, 10 watts out. And same with 10 meters. The highest that I can get out of 10 meters on high power is 6 watts at the low end of the band. And I don't think it changes too much if I go up. No. So on high power, the highest on 10 meters is 5 watts out on CW, if I go to uh, that setting. So I was asked to, to show um, the high power setting. I'm not going to worry about the low power setting because I can get it down to zero for you guys. That's not an issue. Um, you have to go into the menu, though, uh, to set them. And you go into the menu. Oh, I just saved the settings. Let me just uh, drop this down. All right. And what you would do is you would go into the menu here and you would go into PA configuration which is down here open it up and what it does is it gives you now I haven't done the bias setup in here I'm not sure where as of right now on receive I'm drawing 360 milliamps on receive I've read some stuff it says uh, 500 um, but I'm currently running at uh, 360 that can be adjusted from here as well and in here is where you would adjust all of your, your settings for your 5 watt uh, scale. All right, Your full power adjustments. So those are the two that you set up in here. Um, and then everything else should fall into place uh, from there with the uh, half watt and the 1 watt setting. You can also set your power tune level with the tune button here. Uh, so I set mine to 5 watt level only. All right, tune signal is a, a single signal on sideband. And again, I haven't adjusted the bias. I'm not sure how to do that. I don't want to mess anything up. So I haven't adjusted the bias here for CW yet 
or the PA bias for um, the amplifier for side vent. So just a quick show for you guys here, the uh, power levels on the MCHF QRP radio. Thanks for watching. It's Fred VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors.